You will be buying bone straight hair, but you will not know how to maintain your bone straight hair. Why buy it? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can maintain your bone straight hair. The first thing you need to always have on hand is your hairbrush. You want to ensure that you detangle the hair. Don't brush your hair from the upper to the down part like I'm doing here like this. So this is what you should not do. Rather, what you should do is brush your hair from the tip. You see how I held that part there and I'm brushing it from the tip, yeah. You brush your hair from the tip and you move upwards. So you move from the tip towards the middle part of the hair and you keep going up like that. This is how you should brush your bone straight hair. Because especially when the hair is very long, longer hair is more prone to tangling. You want to ensure you brush from the tip and take it all the way to the top of the hair. So after you've done detangling the hair, the next step you want to do is you want to wash your hair. And I use this Trust Me shampoo. I'm going to wash it with the shampoo and rinse off the shampoo and apply this conditioner and leave the conditioner on for about 30 minutes. Rinse it off, air dry the hair, then it's ready for styling. So this is the hair right here you can see how full it is this is actually three okay, four bundles of um 32 inch hair made with a two by six closure so what i'm trying to do right now is i'm sectioning away the upper parts of the hair i want to clip it away so it's going to allow me work on the lower part that bottom part of the hair when you're trying to straighten hair coil hair style hair in any shape or form you want to be able to work in small sections that's the reason why i'm twisting away these all parts so i can clip it in front so allow me get into styling just the back of the hair so i used my hair clip so you need to get invest in getting hair clips because it's going to help you manage the hair the other product you need to invest in getting is your Moroccan Argan Growth Oil. I love this serum right here. It's my holy grail serum for whenever I'm styling hair or just when I want to moisturize my hair. This is the serum I always use. If you can't get this particular brand, reach out for any other brand of Argan Oil you can find. So I, I pour some of the Argan Oil on my hand and I massage it with my palm and I apply it directly to the small section of the hair at the back. From the upper down to the tip of the hair the tip of the hair needs a lot of that moisture then this right here is my heat protectant you need your heat protectant spray to prevent excessive heat from damaging the hair so ensure that you spray your heat protectant spray all over the hair from the upper down to the tip or from the tip to the upper part comb through the hair then next you can start to straighten the hair with your hot straightener but take note you're not going to take work with a big section but you're also going to work with a small section of the hair you see how i took just one side of the hair i'm combing through it right now and i'm taking that cloud cloud nine hair straightener if you have another hair straightener that's that is different from this particular one i'm using please go ahead and use it as long as it gets very hot and it gets the job done please feel free to use it me myself i'm trying to even invest in getting a hair straightener that's hotter than this particular one that i'm using right here but right now this is what i have so i'm going to use what i have so work with whatever it is that you have so you can see how i went from the up part and i'm taking it downwards i'm taking it downwards i'm taking it downwards and take note when you're styling hair this work requires patience as much as you're watching this video and are seeing just in the four minutes of this recording just bear it in mind that straightening this hair especially with the length of hair i'm working with it took at least an hour 30 minutes for me to finish this entire thing so it takes time so be patient with it if you feel like you don't want you don't have that time available pay your hairstylist to style to do your hair laundry for you pay your hairstylist to do it but if you feel like you have the time please just watch the steps i'm doing in this video so you can repeat the same thing on your own but just bear it in mind that you have to be patient don't rush the work you want to take your time and do a very good job so that each strands of the hair is well straightened and is sleek and it looks really nice like you would want it to you can see how i'm taking my time and just pressing that hair in between the, the flat blades of the hair straightener and i'm using that comb to just comb through the hair while i'm running the hair straightener all along it i don't know why i'm just so used to putting combs in my mouth if corona was still around did i say corona <laughs> 
when I be putting this comb in my mouth, I don't know why I'm just like those... <laughs> those artisans that are so used to putting their tools in their hair my my bad habit just seems to be putting these things in my in my mouth like i'm holding it in my mouth and it's really bad <laughs> if you have this bad habit that i have please just let me know i'm trying to really stop this bad habit of holding combs in my mouth because it's it's just it's whew, it's not nice so guys you can see how what i'm doing I went from the upper down to the tip of the hair, ensuring I straighten each strand of the hair, ensuring I get it to be as flat as I want it to be. I know this is a pretty repetitive process, but I want you to understand that you should be willing to do this if you want to take care of your bone straight hair very well. And most times, let's say you've had your bone straight hair for about a year and you haven't washed it, you haven't had to restyle it, you just keep on wearing it like that, wearing it like that. You are spoiling your hair. You are spoiling your hair. You shouldn't wear your hair for so long without washing it and styling it. The longest you should wear your hair is for let's say three weeks or maximum one month stretch in fact that one month of is too is too far you should actually be washing and restyling your hair after about seven days of wearing it but i know seven days seems like oh it's too short but let's let me just see if you, you you shouldn't wear your hair for more than a month without moisturizing it without washing it without restyling it you shouldn't do that to your hair else you'll be damaging your hair extension i know yes you spent a lot of money buying your human hair extension that's the same way you should also know that you should spend time and possibly your resources also ensuring that you invest in products or at least you invest in stylists that can style your hair for you to get it to be back to how it was originally when you just bought your hair like i said when i started this video i actually washed this hair with the tresemme shampoo and conditioner i air dried it and right now i'm styling the hair some of you will not wash your hair you will not condition it you won't do anything you just keep on wearing the hair over and over again maybe once in a while you just go around it somehow somehow with your styling i don't know styling tools you should be washing your hair so please try and wash your hair i'm going to insert a video where i was washing hair i was revamping hair so if you want to see how i wash my hair i'm going to insert a clip of it or put a link to a video where i was washing my hair extension and the top corner of this video so you could go check out how to wash your hair extension but i feel like everybody should know how to wash hair but if you don't know how to go click on the link above to watch the video so you can see how this part of the hair looks right now it's really really sleek and straight and it looks really nice like see how i'm smiling <laughs> oh god so I, th I took out another section of the hair above this one i just styled so that i can also style it the same way i just styled this one at the bottom part and take notes this is really literally the same thing i had done before the same way i styled up at bottom one is the same i'm going to style this one after i cut out the section of the hair i want to work with i'm going to twist it or just clip it away on top clip it away then i'll take the ones i want to work with and start to apply the products that I, I I typically apply on the hair, which is the Argan Oil Serum and my heat protectant. I have search search on my channel playlist for list of products you can use. I've reviewed heat protectants such as the um tresemme heat protectants canto heat protectants there are reviewed shampoos and conditioners and serums i can use for your hair extension so check my playlist for hair tutorials you see all the products that i've reviewed that i recommend for you to use when you're styling your hair extension so you could check the list and see which of them is accessible for you wherever you are in the world to use when you're styling your hair extension so you can see right now i've taken out that part which i just cut out what i'm going to do next is as i said reach out for my argan oil serum or first brush your hair brush it from the tip of the hair all the way to the top because you don't want to be working with tangled hair so after i'm done brushing the hair straight to the argan oil and the heat protectant and i'll start working with the hair in small sections see how i use that hair brush to just hold the hair to separate it from the one that I already straightened. So right now I'm applying that Argan Oil Serum. Applying it to the hair from the up part down to the tip of the hair. Applying it there now. That's the heat protectant. After spraying the heat protectant all over the hair, I'm going to start to straighten it. Yes. Brush, 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 brush. 
then I'm going to take one section of the hair that's a small section and clip the other section of the hair away then I'll start to straighten that one small section that I kept aside so I'll clip that one on top and start working with that section right there So as you can see how the hair looks now, like I said, this entire process is very repetitive. So right now I'm at the upper part of the hair, which is the closure area. I brushed through the hair as usual. I applied my moisturizer, which is Aganori serum, and I sprayed the heat protectant. Right now I'm working with a large chunk of the hair. I'm just using the flat iron to straighten this large chunk of the hair. Take note, even after I've straightened this big section of the hair, I'm still going to go in and cut the hair in a smaller chunk and straighten the hair in small sections. But just watch how I do it. After flattening the hair, it's time to lay the closure area. You know, most closures, in fact, not most, all closures typically tend to have those short strands that you find on the closure area or the frontal area. The reason why you see those short strands is because of the way hair is usually ventilated on the lace because they have to tie the hair. And the shorter part is the is one side of the hair that was tied and the longer part is the other side that's the reason why you only see short strands in your closures and your frontal so the reason why i use that hair wax is to lay those short hairs down and i'm using this hot coiling one here to flatten the hair while i ensure that the parting on the wig is completely clean no hair that's supposed to be on the left is going on the right side like i'm a i'm a perfectionist to it's 
so i try to ensure i get the hair to look as sleek and beautiful as i possibly can get it right now i'm just trying to ensure that i lay the hair flat on all sides of it you can see i'm starting from the back from the back i'm going to move towards the front or from the front i move towards the back start from wherever you want to start start at the key thing is finishing the hair and ensuring that the outlook is really beautiful so guys i've been showing you guys guys my books if you keep on asking me questions on my channel about hair i will not answer you i've answered all the questions in my books go and buy the books and read them i will not respond to any questions about hair extensions anymore the only videos i'll probably be filming this year is me styling hair making wigs maybe vlogs and um if i get an idea if i get if i if i get inspired to do something i will do it boy teaching about hair that's why it took months in fact i literally took the whole of last year to write these books so if you're asking me questions about hair right now i will not respond to you like my days of responding to questions about hair are over go read the books and your questions are answered there so head over to my website to purchase the book if you want to buy the ebook if you want to buy the paperback it's only available on amazon like i i cannot i can't handle having to do with physical copies like <laughs> i just i can't i have so much need for space i probably need to move to a bigger apartment until then i can't deal with having to deal with physical copies because having somewhere to store them is another issue that's the reason why i just decided that i was only going to have the ebooks available on my website and the paperback copies available for purchase only on amazon so if you want the people back go on amazon and buy it that's for the how to start your hair business book while the ebooks that you can read on your phone on your laptop you can print out and read are on my website so right now you can see i'm just trying to do the finishing touches to the styling of the hair and after i'm done with straightening the entire thing i just applied a little bit of the argan oil serum to my heart to my heart palm i'm gonna massage it in and apply it directly to the entire hair to the entire wig so from the upper down towards the tip of the hair just to ensure everything looks sleek and beautiful no there are no flyaway hairs everything just looks popping and really nice that's what i'm doing here you can see how good the hair looks is really healthy i think my client has had this hair now for over two years so she sent this to me to help her wash it and restyle it yeah so guys this is the finished look this is what this hair looks like right now so what i'm going to do next is just cut out the ends of the hair because i want it to have sort of that sort of like a blonde but not i'm not taking out so much length i just want the ends to look straight and clean but i still want the hair to be very long so i'm just cleaning out the ends of the hair because it's going to make it look more healthy it's going to make it look fuller at the ends of the hair that's the reason why i just trimmed off the ends so if you don't the best way to trim off the ends of your hair for right now i'm using a scissors it's easier to use a clipper so if you have a clipper use a clipper to just clean out the ends of the hair it's going to look fuller at the ends it's going to make the hair look richer and really really nice so guys if you're getting value from this video don't forget to smash the like button give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends who, who will be wearing their hair for five years they will not wash it i don't know why girls do this thing you will spend money you, you buy your wigs for a hundred thousand did i say hundred thousand you buy your wigs for one million five hundred thousand three hundred thousand two hundred thousand and you will not take the time to, to wash your hair and restyle it also after sharing this video with your friends make sure you buy my books if you ask me questions about hey i won't respond you just be asking yourself so you might as well just keep your questions to yourself because you know i won't reply you anyways guys this is how the hair looks and i love the way it looks I hope you got a lot of value from this video and you learned how to take care of your bone straight hair I sh i'm going to share the list of all the products that i used in the comment section or rather in the description box so that you can go check out the products that i used there and also don't forget to like this video share with your friends and please subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed i really appreciate that support by trying to grow this channel to 100k subscribers please help me reach 100k subscribers please Ooh. thanks so much for watching and remember be bold have courage of a positive life